<laughs> there we go. Go for it. What do we say? Welcome. Welcome back to Tuesday night chat with Muskrat and Creole Catfishing. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one, guys. <laughs> I told her I'd help her get started and uh, make sure we had all the technical stuff under control. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jeremy and I are just, I guess we're getting kicked out. And uh, it's the ladies' takeover. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. We got a couple folks uh, that are trying to get in backstage. I see Miss Paula Smith's here. Uh, her cam isn't working with her just yet. So we might just have a black screen, but we do have her that we could talk to. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we got Pontoon Joni, Benoit Fishing Outdoors, Miss Telly over Hooks and Hammocks, Janet Fox. And a couple other guests in the background that may be able to get in here. They're having some technical difficulties. So hopefully we can get these guys in and, and have some fun tonight. But uh, guys, we just uh, we just really wanted to kind of showcase, you know, this is Women's History Month. And, you know, it's we don't really need an excuse. But, uh, you know, just show, showing the world out there that, uh, man, there's plenty of women that love this sport just as much as the rest of us. And uh, some of them are even better at it than we are. And... Uh, Right. Just kind of just kind of showing that, uh, you know, the girls can go out there and get it done and uh, hopefully influence a, a couple women out there that's thinking about maybe jumping in the world of catfishing or going out and and, and uh, try it themselves or, or taking or going along with somebody else that they, they bite the bullet. And say, yeah, you know what? Take me fishing. You know, they know somebody that wants to go fishing. But uh, before we get too far into it, I'm just going to say hello to a couple. I, I, I'm, I, I I got to at least say hello to my mama because, uh, well, that's my mama. And without, without her, uh, well, I wouldn't be here. So <laughs> love you, mama. Thanks for tuning in. Um, you to read all the chat names? That's, <laughs> she said, do I really have to read every single name in chat? That's her biggest, that's her biggest fear tonight is trying to keep up with the chat. So we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, but, uh, <laughs> Let's see, I see the girl. Uh oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. now we're talking. <laughs> there we go. Now we got to figure it out. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Has to be okay. smarter than the computer. Mm. <laughs> Story of my All life. Right, coming in now. All right, so we got uh, we got forty some folks in chat already. Just want to kind of say a blanket thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate everybody. Uh, I'm not going to put Jackie through the paces of saying every single person in chat. We've got somebody echoing. Pam, are you you guys got us on in the background? No, we don't. No. Okay. Watch me. I'll let's see. We'll Watch me try something. Actually, I don't hear it now. Uh, okay, I muted. I, I muted Paula, and the echo went away. So, so Paula, if you can hear me, the echo is on your end, my darling. Poor Paula. No. Oh, All no. Right. I'm I'm shut up. Got a window open somewhere. <laughs> okay, so. Like Roger was saying, we are doing this just um, for Women's History Month and try to get more people um, seeing that there are women out there that fish and like it and that it is growing in the industry because I am new and I am seeing that. So I think we are going to start with kind of introductions. I know he had said who was on the panel, but I don't know if you guys want to start and go around and kind of tell who you are, where you fish, what got you started or how long you've been fishing. Jody, do you want to start? Sure. Okay. My name is Pontoon Jody. I have a channel called Pontoon Jody Catfishing. I have a live show every Friday night, runs from 9 to 12, where we um, have a panel up like this of anglers. Next week, we're going to start the Flathead Challenge back, and that'll run through the summer. And that's always a fun thing to do. And we, we'll have a trifecta tournament one night also. But, um, I got started fishing ever since I was born. I had a pond and a creek in the woods, and that's all I ever did. And then once I got a pontoon, I started watching YouTube and learning from all the anglers and stuff and asking them questions, and that's how I got into the major catfishing of catching the big ones. 
And I fish the Tennessee River in the Watts Bar area. And I mostly use skipjack. Perfect. Benoit. I'm Allison. I'm Gabby. Uh, we started Benoit Fishing door Outdoors. Um, actually, we just released a memory today that we, today was our uh, one year anniversary of releasing our first YouTube video. Um, right. And we uh, finally hit our 500 subscriber uh, mark as well within a year. So we'll be doing our nice. giveaway soon. So everyone can stay tuned for that. But thank you everyone for the support. <laughs> Absolutely. We wouldn't be this far without, of course, the guys. We'll give them some credit, I guess. But, <laughs> but uh, we fish in Ohio mostly. Uh, you know, we use everything for bait, uh, anything we can get our hands on, bluegill, uh, goldfish from the bait shops. Uh, recently, we got into a bunch of shad, so we're hoping to get on a bunch of fish. We're getting a new boat here in the next few weeks, and we're ready for what this year has to come. So, Been fishing ever since I was a little girl. My grandpa got me started, so always went after catfish, and they just kept getting bigger and bigger, and you get hooked, so yeah. Yes, girl. Amen to that. Course, yep. Right? We're here to show the guys we can do it too, right? Right. That's right. That's right. right. Um, Telly? Hi, I'm Telly, the other half of Hooks and Humics. Um, we kind of fish pretty much anywhere and everywhere. Here in about 17 days, we'll be in Louisiana. So, can't wait with Miss Nina and Freddie. Um, been fishing all my life. Um, started off with my dad and then also my grandmother and my aunt and uncle. So, and I've really grown to love it. Janet. I, I've been fishing 20, about 21 years, I think. And he gets all the credit for getting me out there because I never did. I was a city girl, so I didn't do all this fishing and bait catching and all that. But. We fished the High River. Alabama is one of our favorite places for the most part. Um, <clears throat> we use Skipjack and Moon Eye, and that's about it. And Miss Sandra? Um, we are Pam and Sandra, and uh, we are Team Feeling Caddy. Um, we have been partnered up for, we're on our third year now, third year now yeah. third years together. Um, and we fish mainly the Ohio river, but we try to travel wherever we can. Um, this weekend, we're going to go down to Tennessee, uh, for Easter weekend on a girl's trip. We're taking our daughters. So just to have a little fun time catching skips and catching cats, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> but, um, I've, I've been doing this pretty much my whole life, not cat fishing, just fishing. And then, um, Dave Oprick from Chubby Fish got me into catfishing, and then I got her into catfishing, and then yeah. been hook, line, and sinker ever since. <laughs> uh, Nina. Hi, I'm Nina. Um, FOA, the boss, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Freddie and I, um, I've been married for 25 years, so we've been doing that together off and on for that long. And then I've been fishing my whole life. My grandmother lived at the lake. My dad loved fishing. We did boat fishing, bank fishing, cane pole, whatever, you, you name it, we fished for it. Uh, this is our youngest daughter, Halana. She's 20, and she has loved fish since she can save me. <laughs> she used to go bass fishing with us in her stroller and... She could, say, she could say what the names of each of the fish were when she was like three. So, <laughs> she'll tell you that's a bass, that's a bluegill. <laughs> I don't remember them. So, I mean, she's, she's pretty much been doing it off and on. I mean, you know, you have your teenage years and stuff where she didn't do a lot, but now she's back into it. So, that's why I brought her on with us. Yay. And we use, um, Worm, 
uh, bluegill, frothy, chicken, anything that we can use for bait. I've used marshmallow before, except I don't use bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for I've tried it. Please try I've it. Tried it. <laughs> I, have tried. Used, I have used Twizzlers. Uh, <laughs> <Starburst>. <laughs> um, just because my sister told me about a TikTok, but that's it. But I can catch anything with it. <laughs> oh, that's TikTok. <laughs> There's Paula. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, Paula. Yeah, I figured it out. The camera is on top of the computer, and you have to push it. <laughs> And it just <laughs> good to see everybody yeah. we are in the, we're in the middle of introductions so if you want to introduce yourself and tell about who you are where you're from where you fish what got you started favorite bait well i am paula curtis smith and uh i'm from waverly tennessee and I'm sure none of y'all know where that's at, <laughs> but uh, I live right um, it, right on the Tennessee River. And uh, what else you want to know? Um, <laughs> what got you started or how long you been fishing? I've been fishing all my life. Uh, my father got me started and um, I love it. And this year is going to be one of the best years that I've had. Yeah, girl. I hope so. Yes. And what about you, Ms. Laura? I'm Creole's financial advisor. <laughs> You're still I'm, the boss. Yeah, I'm. I'm the one that that blocks him when need to, cancels debit cards because. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I basically just I, I throw my um, my chair out on the front part of the uh, the deck of the boat and let him have at it. Really, I just knock him out of the boat, take over. Basically, I'm, whatever breaks, I'm calculating how much this is going to cost and what's the cheapest route because that that's right. about where we're at with it right yeah. now. Yeah, I think so. Fishing with Jeremy's like <laughs> assessment. Mm -hmm. And I am the, the branch manager at a bank, so he has no prayer. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hide a thing. I'm probably one of the few husbands out there whose wife knows exactly every dollar that's spent on fishing stuff. Right. He knows. There ain't no hiding that. I do. <laughs> He's got right. zero. <laughs> right? See, don't feel bad because Ken don't know half of it. There you go. And he's not going to. No, absolutely not. He's my mine, mine's probably watching this going us oh, crap. <laughs> it's good to see everybody. Good, good to see you too. Missed you at CatCon. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, during CatCon is when I had the uh, brain tumor pop up. And yes, she, yes. Yeah, it was I'm like, glad all that went. Well, we're glad to see you here now. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, most of you guys know that I am new to catfishing. Um, I grew up, I fished a little bit whenever I was younger, but I didn't really get into catfishing until I met Roger and he took me out. And I think I've been kind of hooked since then. Probably Don't too much. Don't what he says. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should be more like Laura <laughs> and really watch the spending, but it's hard whenever I want just as much as he wants. Right uh -huh. so, um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But um, so I haven't I haven't had a much experience except for maybe the past six months. But I did get to fish my first tournament this past weekend. Um, we fished the awesome. River Rats Catfishing Club tournament ran by Michael and Kelly King, and um, it was it was ran really well. It was cold. It was <laughs> and very very windy this weekend it was not prime fishing time but we went out there and we did it um got a 
little tiny six pounder for weigh in. That's not what you say. You say it was, we got one fish and it was big enough for a top veteran. Yeah, did he say that for top veteran that day? So Zach got go. top set at the uh, tournament. She got to learn how to tell fish stories. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a good teacher for fish stories <laughs> we're <a> skunk <laughs> but but first place went to david winkle and randy wyatt and they weighed in at 57.2 pounds that day so um it was a little low weight for the for tournament but it was fun it was a good experience um and we hope to continue doing that little tournament circuit. They, they really ran it well. So, um, so do you guys want to maybe talk about a favorite memory or your best fish story or your biggest fish? I can do the biggest fish yeah. called a big blue cat <laughs> in Alabama. It weighs 77 pounds. Huh? Ooh, well, I don't my husband to this day. So I hold the record <laughs> in the Fox household. Yes. <laughs> and he doesn't live it down. I give it to him every time. So. <laughs> that's great. That's what we're supposed to do. Kind we, have of the, again. we have the yeah. ladies catfish rumble coming up. If if any of you guys are interested, um, I think we're looking at just one day so far, unless there's a lot of interest, and then we'll probably push out two days. But it's June twenty second. Um, D Fields from Fields to Water and I are doing that, or else she goes by. It's D Fishing with D or something like that. But get, she does get it hooked on D Fishing. Um, so, oh, hooked on D. That's right. Yeah, yeah, hooked on D Fishing. <laughs> Sorry, she doesn't use her channel a lot, so I forget. But um, <laughs> June 22nd, any ladies that are interested, just um, hit D up on the um, either the Fields to Water page on Facebook or through Messenger, D Fields, <laughs> uh, or you can message me and then I'll get it to her either way. Okay. It'll be fun. Okay, rules. Is it an all-girl tournament? It's all, all female, yeah. Awesome. All right. Alana was the first year winner, <laughs> and, my, and Freddie made her a plaque. Yeah, Congratulations. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's awesome. There you go. That yeah. is. She's so excited. Awesome. <laughs> Last year, she got the smallest oh, fish. <laughs> and uh, her and um, who was Tammy, right? Tammy was the lady you guys were going like. Fish for fish. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Uh, Ricky's wife, uh, Tammy. They were like, Helena get one, she get one. Helena get one, she get one. It was really good. <laughs> huh? Is, um, um, so it's all female. Like they have to drive the boat. And yeah. So the um, ladies, you can have a Joey if you want, or what they call a Joey. Um, but you have to do most of the stuff yourself, like casting and putting the bait and doing all that stuff. So Tara won last year, um, and they were, I think they were dragon bait for like one of the first times they'd done that. And she got, I was just fin drifting, sorry. And, uh, I'm getting told by the peanut gallery in there. And, uh, she got like 13, I think, or something like that. Peanut gallery, peanut gallery. Peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. You're not part of it. I mean, it, it, last year was pretty awesome to watch, too. If anybody was to, like, go back and watch something while you're bored. <laughs> or go back to 2022. <laughs> I have one we'll here. Definitely it to be like 10.2 or something. Yeah, my PB catfish is 47, I mean, uh, 46 pounds in the James River two years ago. Um, and then last year, well, this past year, and the summer, I got a sturgeon in Tennessee, so that was pretty cool. That's awesome. Nice. That is awesome. You'd love to catch one of those. Where's that? I'll, you, um, yeah. <laughs> Pam, did you win the uh, photo contest that you had entered? No. Yeah. I made it to, uh, I think, uh, 
the second to the last round, and then I just stopped pushing. I'm not pushing it, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I was, looking at previous, I was looking at previous winners, and these women are like, you know, you, you got to pay for the votes, and they have friends that are rich that can pay for thousands of votes, and I'm not asking nobody for no money, so I was like, I ain't doing that. I'm done. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a whole different platform. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you rocked it. The pictures I seen, you rocked. Oh, thanks, Paula. Oh, they were gorgeous. <laughs> they were. Uh, um. Okay. So the next question would be: Do you guys feel like um you have examples of like diversity in the industry, or do you feel like you are looked at differently? or have had any like problems or like things like that as a woman? No, she, I didn't, I didn't approve this. <laughs> I, I feel I sit around together with everyone. I don't have a bit of problem fishing with mm -hmm. men. Yeah, I think I, I, I feel like, like oh, wow, so no, no I feel problem. like anybody new, anybody new is going to get stared at because they're the new kid on the block and and you know right. i'm not in the fact that you're a female yeah but again no we've had we've had no issues at all they welcomed right. us with open arms i mean we broke down several times and yeah no problems getting someone to come help us tow us in 10 miles away from the boat ramp you know wow. and, and stuff. so it's yeah it's been a, a great welcoming you know community for sure i agree i am um... I am new, obviously, and so I went to CatCon, and I think everybody there welcomed me with open arms, talked to me, mm -hmm. chatted with me, answered my questions. I think I asked probably 10 people their favorite bumping rods and what they could compare it to before I could make my decision on mine. But um, everybody has been so super welcoming just in the community. And, <laughs> you know, even with Roger losing his things, um, yeah. That's so awesome. right then, like everybody was amazing during that. You don't you don't see that always in people. And I think right. that that has been such a great showing of the catfish community. For sure. Janet can probably uh, uh, relate to what I'm going to say. Catfishing has come a long way. Uh, me and Janet are probably, I'm not saying we're old Janet. I'm just saying we're wise <laughs> careful paula <laughs> careful paula <laughs> but, uh, experience you probably had the <laughs> same problem i had beginning at the beginning you know uh nothing against guys you know anglers <laughs> uh, at the beginning you know i had a little harder time uh one reason being my husband is a game warden, uh, was a game warden, still thinks he's a game warden. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I've got the funniest story to tell y'all. Uh, we were coming back from the doctor Friday and uh, we just passed where you turn off to go to my mom's and I hear blue lights and I said, Ken, are you speeding? Now, if, if Roger knows Ken, Ken does no wrong. I mean, Ken does not break the law. He does not cuss. He does no wrong. And I said, Ken, do I hear blue lights? Are you speeding? He said, no, I'm not speeding. I said, well, why is the cop trying to pull you over? <laughs> so if I had just thought, I would have got my camera out and videoed it. But uh, the cop walks up to his window and he says, so. Uh, Sir, do you realize you're doing 59 and 45? And I just died laughing. <laughs> I will never let you live this down. <laughs> he comes back and he gives him a warning ticket. I guess when he run his driver's license, he's seen that he was, you know, a retired game board. And he got a break, which we wouldn't have got. But still, I've got one of him now. <laughs> What I was talking about with Janet was, you know, I'm sure when you started out, you know, it's it was harder for women to get in the door, uh, per se, than it is now. 
now honestly i didn't have no trouble but we i fished in a small tournament trail down here that bank run so i knew the guys and that might have been part of it right and i'm quite vocal so it, it usually people don't say too much to me because i'm not going to <laughs> it must be i have no saying. problem mixing words yeah what i did was uh i seen what was happening you know there was comments like well she wouldn't have caught them fish for her husband went to the game board and i thought well he didn't jump out of the boat and hook them so <laughs> i separated it you know ken you can't fish with me no more you know tournament wise right. or eating fun fishing uh we rarely fish together so that helped me a lot i feel like <laughs> Now, when I started fishing, the, really, I was one of the three ladies that was fishing. That was Doc Lang's wife, Lynn, and then Mama Matheny, Jason Matheny's mother. So we was the only three that was really hard at it when I first started. That's been, like I said, 21 years ago. And it has really stepped up, and I love it that the women are coming up and getting into it and showing the men how to do it. Right, <laughs> right. You know, Steve Douglas, uh, he compared me to you uh, during the pandemic where the CatCon, you know, was just, you know, on live. Virtual. And he compared me to you, and that was such a compliment. Uh, oh, thank you. Steve was our first sponsor, believe it or not. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't my first, but he, he's, you know, he's been a great sponsor. Yeah. Um, Janet, I have a message from a John Renner who wants to know if you're fishing Sandusky in the King Cat Tour and who your partner is. He said that he's been asking to fish for you for a while because you have a lot of cute fish. Well, and I told him I would, so I wrote down that I am going to fish the cat with John and said that. That's pretty funny he asked you and not me. Well, thinks his full time partner. Yeah, I know. So, you know. Yeah, I've got to fish with him on the higher river at some point. But he, he thinks it's something big and fancy. She and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I Go lay down. I've had to run my dog out of the house, so. <laughs> I had to run my kid out today. <laughs> they both wanted to be on the show tonight, and we had to explain to them that they could not. So. We try to do this outside of the boat to get the kids away from us, and then we get out there and we can't connect, so we had to come back in and kick the kids out. <laughs> they just followed us. Yeah, that's funny. Mine were mine were practicing their intro for the show. They were practicing what Roger. That's awesome. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. What if um? What about give us your? <laughs> we want to hear what? you. Babies. 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 Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Yours is, I don't even know. It's about 30, 31. In Alabama on um, Wheeler. And mine is 40 caught on the Ohio River. It's actually live on the uh, one of the Winter Blues. Um, not last, not this past one, but the year before with Kayak Mike, I caught a 40 pounder on the Ohio River. That was fun. That's awesome. So, nice. Oh. No. <laughs> this is the newest member Aww. of the three old family. Miss Lula Bell. Forget the squirrel. I already <laughs> said my was pretty sick. <laughs> now I'm going to do it. It's raining. I could, I could make a joke right yeah. now. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go with my phone. PB, blue cat, oh, and and 88. Oh, nice. 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 Mm. And then my PB flathead is 54. Backyard. That's awesome. 
I don't count channel cats because I hide them. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Nina? Uh, uh, my TV blue cat is 46. Um, on the James, the flathead um, was this past summer on the Tennessee, and it was like 10 pounds, I think. And then um, channel cat wise is 10 pounds on Jody Show. And then Holana's PB is about 12 something on the ladies tournament the other two, two years ago. But like I said, she, she kind of, she goes and then she is working and doing stuff for a while and then she goes again. So she didn't get the opportunity. Miss Janet. I'm sorry. It was on Wheeler. Yeah. Tell them to go in. Yeah. Tell them to stay out of the bedroom. Sorry. Wet, watery. Oh, we got to be places. <laughs> and what about you? Come Dina? on, let's do some more. That's Dexter. My blue cat's seventy-seven. It was Alabama. My flathead was fifty-seven on the high river, and I've caught a twenty-five pound channel cat at Sandusky Bay. So that's oh, what wow. I wants to fish with. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big channel cat. Yeah. yeah. My my mean, biggest channel cat was eighteen pounds, and that's rare. Nice. Yes, it is. It's rare right here in our area to have one yeah. that big. Have big fish. Same as you bang. do. Yeah, they're fun to catch. Um, Kim was on the boat with me this time and i said i got it off the hook and i said ken is he gonna bite me he said no it's not gonna bite me <laughs> he that kind of <laughs> run me all back and forth on that back of that boat trying to get it off my head. <laughs> <laughs> what about you telly my um pb blue was 70 caught on lake gaston believe it or not on a piece of chicken Nice. And I my yep. PB flathead is 16 pounds on Wiley, and my PB channel is 14 pounds on Lake Minerva. That's awesome. I have Miss D throwing in her PBs. They're great. Nice. <laughs> that is awesome. What nice, are you Dee. Eating, Jackie? Uh, my PB blue is. 56 pounds. Wow. And I'm hoping to get a PB flathead this year. <laughs> Roger's supposed to help me catch a flathead, but <laughs> I, think I don't You'll need get it. it. You'll you get can it. get it. You don't need Roger. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes, girl. That's right. <laughs> well, I do need him to drive the boat right now. I'm learning. <laughs> so I am don't learning. Take to back the Go take the Boulder's Ed class. There yeah. you go. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. I mean, I, I truly personally would recommend anybody that hasn't operated a boat, take a Boulder's Ed class from your local TW. I say TWRA because I'm in Tennessee, but your local wildlife officer and you will get taught correctly. Yeah, yeah. Ohio requires it, so. Not that Roger, we were grandfathered in, so we're good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Us, us, you know, little older people, we get grandfathered in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Um, I I'm definitely working on that. He, I'm helping with the um, backing and the loading and loading of the boat. Roger and then my second favorite fishing partner, Zach, are very good teachers. So they've been yeah. helping a lot, and we've been uh, working on. You know, reading the fish finder and Nivionics and that kind of thing. So yeah. it's definitely interesting. It's a lot to learn. There's a lot okay. to learn. Yes, yes. It, there's so much to learn. So, um, about you, Benoit, what are your guys's PDs, girls? Um, well, I have yet to get lucky enough to catch a blue cat, so. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
No blue Let's cat. Go. Um, Let's go. go. <laughs> we, will. we will trade you a blue cat trip for a flathead trip. Sounds right. like a deal. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'll be, we'll be right behind you taking the boater's egg course too. So as soon as we get that boat, we'll be working on that too. So. All right. Um, as far as a channel cat, I'd probably say around 10, 15 pounds. Honestly, I don't know. We catch so many of them and we just toss them back. <laughs> um, they are plentiful everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. Lakes, rivers. And my PB flathead is 43 pounds. I got him in the fall and hopefully nice. I'm going to break that nice. soon. Awesome. Right. Um, I have caught a blue. Uh, my PB blue was 18 pounds. Uh, out of Clendenning. Um, and then I also caught a flathead last year. My PB was 29 pounds. Um, so not as big as hers, of course, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I, I don't know my PB flathead. Like she said, we usually just throw them back. We've caught Channel. some big ones, though, the channels, yeah. Um, I would definitely say we've caught some up in the range of 16 to 18 pounds, so. Mm -hmm. And Jody. Um, my PB channel, I caught it once bar, was 16 pounds. And then my PB flathead is 43 pounds at the Kingston area. And then I've caught two 63 pounders in the Chattanooga area. One That's of them awesome. I got just last Saturday during the Kings tournament on Daryl's channel. And it was a, a really great fight. It's one of the best fish fights I've ever had. And it was just a blue, but it was a good one. And I would like to say I was using Mad Cat for all of who's questioning the reel. I did use this reel on it and it brought it in just fine. And it was they was running 40, 45 K current. So it did handle the current and the fish. All right. I think the best uh, fight I had, it wasn't my 88. I've caught uh, three in the 80s. Uh, my 84 pound blue cat was probably the best fight. I mean, I thought he's taking me off this boat, so I'm gonna <laughs> straddle the motor and he's just gonna have to take the motor with us. So, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't gonna let go of that rod, so but he he gave me the best fight, and I don't know why I called all my fish hymns, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm sure the guys call all their fish girls. I don't know. <laughs> hey guys in cars. <laughs> in, our, in our cars and trucks. Don't worry, we do that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, what piece of advice do you guys have for new people in the industry, male or female? Do you have any good advice or something you wish you would have known or something that you just think is great for everyone to hear? Mm. Stay grounded. Follow mm -hmm. your dreams. I would say just believe in yourself and don't doubt yourself. You know, and always have fun. If you doing believe it, you can achieve it. Yeah. Right. I say and take advice from someone. someone. Take advice from someone who is well known in the community and trustworthy and honest mm -hmm. and loves to help other people and not going to steer you wrong. Mm -hmm. True. I think that's great. Definitely watch someone on YouTube who fishes your area and mm -hmm. learn from them. Yep. Right. I say just have fun. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Keep it simple. Don't go out yep. there and try to, you know, because if you go out there and try to do this, that, and the other, before right. you know it, you've got no fish, time's out. Right. You yeah. know, keep playing, keep it simple. And if you don't, if you go out there, always learn something. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. I tell you what, Miss Paula, I, uh, when, when I got my boat, my other boat got it rebuilt and everybody's like, you need a, you need a fish rising sun and you know, never driven a boat before except maybe like for five minutes uh my first tournament was a 200 <laughs> boat entry tournament and it was a blast off tournament and oh, uh which are the best so i i jumped right into catfishing 
in a tournament scene. So we we went. I went balls to the walls on that, and then <coughs> came across um, Sandra as uh, a second fishing partner, which she ended up being the best fishing partner um, mm -hmm. that I could find. And um, <laughs> no, I mean, period. <laughs> Y'all might be right. <laughs> at the moment i mean anywho um so because we just kind of we never really got out there to figure out the area figure out the river figure out the electronics and stuff like that um we're taking a pause in 2024 and we're only doing um rising sun and we're doing janice tournament and that's it for this year we are totally focusing on going out and having fun and not figure being on a time out. limit yeah. and coming not back when we want now. or staying out as late as we want right. and just taking our sweet time and not having to get all those rods out and get them in and move and mm -hmm. we're just chilling That's, this year that is a great way to do it right because yeah. in 2045 yeah. you're going to come back on That's top. Right. 2025 yes. i get five weeks vacation and it's game <laughs> hi you better plan some time coming down here Yes, yes. We'll be down to yes. Tennessee this weekend, Miss Paula. You weren't on yeah. whenever we said that, but we're coming down. We'll be there All Thursday. Right. Every one of y'all welcome to come down here and go fishing. We're gonna come to your house and cook us dinner. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> cook, cook, cook us dinner. Food. That's a good idea. They, you eat good at Paula's house, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I eat good on Zach and Rogers, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been fishing and had a steak for lunch while I was fishing. I was like, oh, Lord, I'm going to have to fish with guys more often. Uh, well, he's the reason why we got a grill on our boat. We had, we had grilled chicken and green beans this weekend. So I'm, always always having a good time. I'm always craving a Big Mac when I'm on a boat. Uh, every single time I'm on a boat. I stop at McDonald's boat. before you go. But... <laughs> I got a grill for my boat, and he said I wasn't allowed to cook on it. And I thought, well, you don't pay for this boat. I do, so I'll be cooking on it. This girl wants to start a fire on my boat. I'm like, it's made of wood. I think we all got Jack is wood. Wood. Do you have I mean, one? I can make it happen. I'm a pyro. I'm just saying. I, I mean, what's going to catch fire? The aluminum boat? No, no, no. <laughs> my, my, flooring, my flooring is wood. Y'all's is metal. Oh, oh. Yours is out. aluminum. Mine's wood with vinyl coating. I can figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't catch your boat on fire. <laughs> no, no joke. <laughs> Crazy, it up. Oh, I'm good. But you got water to put it out. Yeah, right. Cool. Cool. Exactly. Plenty of water to put it out. Don't there you go. It. And <laughs> if, 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 you, if your if your boat is um legal, hey Jane. Oh, this, uh, <laughs> uh, you see up. Interview them <laughs> next. Uh, we'll be calling. Oh, we'll just oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> you right. do have a uh, fire extinguisher on your boat, correct? Amen. Absolutely. All right. Good deal. You're safe. Cook all you want. I'm a responsible pyro. It's all good. <laughs> so this weekend which usually i'm pretty good about holding it um and going beforehand but at our tournament this weekend i had to use the restrooms so what do you guys do on your boats for the restroom do you use a bucket do you have a shiwi no because after this weekend, and I was texting my mama, one of her <laughs> best friends went ahead and too many drinks for me. So I want to know, ladies, what you guys do on the boats. Oh, we just put right. you in, in, in a bucket. Yeah, in a bucket. We have the, the, the toilet seat. <laughs> I look around. If there's no boats within the C and I distance, yep. I hang her on the edge. I've done that. Too. I've done that on J-Dog's boat. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. I have to explain to you what a uh, kiwi was. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'd be way too afraid to do that on our boat, so it's definitely the bucket for us. <laughs> I don't want to clean a bucket or keep up with it. I just use a, a red towel and throw it away. Oh, they use all, the garbage all, the, all kinds of stuff you can throw in there. <laughs> what do you use, 
I read solo cup. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I have red solo cups and I use that and throw it over the side and then put the cup in the garbage bag. Well, you yeah. could probably, no, no since you fish out of a pontoon boat, you could probably hide a little better. <laughs> yeah. or the Taj Mahal. I have a big sheet. I, I, I have a gray king size sheet on the boat. That way, if I get caught at the dam or something, you're anchored up with two anchors and 12 rods out. And you can't <laughs> so I just sat there like Casper. <laughs> I've got a great I know question. I told her we're going to get one of those little pop up tents like for uh, hunting. I got a great I have one. Work. No. Have so you ever put <laughs> and think, oh my God, I hope one of my rods don't go down because I'm going to have to jump up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care what Sean. She has done that. She has That's done that happened. before. <laughs> <laughs> Drawers to the ankles. She jumped straight up. Oh, straight up get my yeah. <laughs> Can't let that rod go. I don't care what's going on. <laughs> I just told Chris that the other day when we were fishing the King, King of the Tennessee. I was like, watch, I'm going to go pee and that rod's going to go down. So everyone that is watching is going to get a show because guess what? I'm getting that rod. Exactly. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> 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 we're that dedicated. That's awesome. We're I definitely dedicated. The absolute worst is doing that in the winter time. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. There's so many layers. So many layers. Many layers. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to be on the layers. Yep. <laughs> At least it's warm for a second if you do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The funnel is always a good choice. You have to That's control true. the stream, though, girl, or it overflows. You get it in the funnel, right? right. It does. Yeah. I just don't hang over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hang on to a rod holder and hope yep. for the best. There you go. Hang on to a rod holder or the family top. Hang on. Let her reel. Yeah. I have used a fire ring, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a story to tell you when we're off camera about going off the boat. <laughs> comment of the night, right here. Right there, that's a comment of the night. Comment of the night. I bet the guys are back there just <laughs> 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 I'll have to remember that. I will say, when Freddie and I first started, we were doing um, a bait tournament online with um, who was it? catfish and crappie, I think, or something. And I made him take me to the island and let me out because we were in a little John Bay and they were like, it was nothing. There's you're open to everything. So I just jumped on the island and went peeing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> There was a, there was, I got a story to tell. There was the one time we were fishing a tournament and she's, she's like looking around and uh, she's like, I have to pee. And then I'm like, there's a boat over there. She goes, I don't care if they see me. I don't care. I don't care. Like the whole day. I don't care. So we ended up um, anchored up in front of a park and there was nobody there. But she bears butt on that side where the, her butt's in the park, right? And I'm sitting on the other side. I look up and I'm just like, oh, hi. This girl jumps out, throws her pants on real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. She, she looks back. There's nobody there. And I was like, you don't care, huh? <laughs> <laughs> dignity goes out the window. Well, she's sitting here laughing at me. Like, no, I don't care. <laughs> was that, was, that was just before I had to pee and my rod went down while my panties are all the way down to my ankle. All the way down. That was right before that happened. <laughs> she wasn't letting me get that rod. He said, no, nope, that's my rod. Yeah, don't touch my rod. <laughs> I think it's great to see more women getting into the sport. Uh, and I think the future, in the future, there'll be a whole lot more women. Yeah. You know, I hope so. 
you know, it, it's it's not as complicated as uh, some people try to make it. Uh, if you love doing it, if it's a passion, you know, you can get out there and you can do just as good as anybody else. You know, we're all equal. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. It don't matter if your personal best is five pounds or 200 pounds, you know, right. we're all equal. Right. I so just have fun doing it. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Have fun doing it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to get back out there. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> we can't wait to see you out there. Yeah. Well, I, I've partnered up with uh, Doug Smith, and mm -hmm. I'm probably going to wind up sinking him. Because <laughs> <laughs> the whole time we're fussing and fighting. <laughs> I know all about it. I covered for you last year and it was it was a trip. <laughs> I had fun, I had fun. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting duct tape on my boat just to hush him up. <laughs> you know, it's his way or or you don't know nothing. It's like Doug, just shut up. You know, I know what I'm doing here. You work so, your side, I work mine. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, I mean, he's a good partner. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that. Yeah. He's a handful. You know, you know, when I, when I went out with Doug last year, he did <coughs> year of driving the boat. Cause I mean, I never could back the boat in. I mean, I've tried, I tried for like a year. I, I just couldn't do it. So when I went out with Doug last year, he was just like, yeah, that I was, was right after you tried mine. Yeah, I was like, okay, just stand there. That way, you know, launch and load and everything. He's like, no, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, and I did it. I did it all on my own. And um, when I got the And then he complained the about it. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. But, I, mean, I didn't know about it until afterwards. But, I mean, I got the boat I got the boat on and off the trailer. So, so that's all it matters. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he didn't complain about it, but it was his idea. He just like said, "You do it yourself." I was like, "Oh crap, okay." <laughs> I, did I did it. That's all that matters. Yeah, and that right. got me over my fear. So yeah. Right, we can do it. You know, don't let anybody right. try to intimidate you because we can right. do it. Yeah, yep, sure can. So I don't know about me uh, backing the boat in. That'll probably never happen. But <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> It. I you tried will. it. It took her a year. I've I, done it a few times. See, I finally I get, let her drive the boat. I get too I nervous. Try. I get too nervous because the last, you know, the, all the times that I've tried to back the boat in, we're in a tournament. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I've, you know, been out practicing and it's like everybody's staring yeah. at you. You get nervous. Yeah. And I couldn't, I just yeah. You'll, get, you you'll get better at it this yeah, year because you guys good. are going to have time off. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Get all the practice, you know. Pretend like, I mean, if you pull up to a ramp and there's like it's a three or four boat ramp, just practice, you know, pretend right. like nobody's there. It don't matter if they're staring at you or not. If you right. make a boat, roll the window down, say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know, just, right. you'll get it. You'll get it. Yeah. One of these days, yeah. You know, nobody gets it right the first time. Right. So Stan three wants to know what everyone's favorite fishing rig and colors are. What? Orange the fishing rigs. Fishing yeah. Rigs and colors. And colors. Okay. <clears throat> I like the Santee rig. Yeah. And I don't care what color. As long as the kids it's food. Right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> my, my husband is FOA, so we have all the colors. So. <laughs> I mean, I like purple, but yeah. yeah. And I paint them, so. <laughs> I like the Carolina rig. I like I like all the rigs, really. It just depends on where I'm fishing, what the conditions are, uh, what kind of fishing I'm doing. Right. Uh, color doesn't matter because, you know, the fish don't see that color. Uh, and, I, of course, I'm sure all of y'all know that I hate pink because I feel like pink is a weak color. 
But now that I'm having me too, girlfriend. <laughs> me too. I know that <laughs> I know you I know you love pink and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you open a box of crayons, you pull out white, <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you pull that blue and that, you know, it's a stronger <laughs> now I'm having a granddaughter in about this three weeks. Sure, it's not mine. Yeah, I'm having to start. I'm starting to get a little pink stuff, and it's it's oh, hard. Wow. <laughs> I think I got a pink ink. Hi, lip gloss pink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, like I'm going to start having a lot more pink. I've got to represent this grandbaby. There you go. <laughs> so. Say hi to your dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> That's my dad for anybody that sees him in chat. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> hi, dad. <laughs> um, well, I also use the Santee rig, and I love pink. Pink is my favorite. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, oh my God. There. There's fairy color. Absolutely <laughs> all the way. I am not a pink person. I never have been. My girl. I do have a daughter. She somewhat liked pink, but not really. So I was relieved, but that's okay. I'm fine with people that do love pink. We all have our pink colors. My daughter loves purple. So she wants, yeah. she wants oh. to use my um, purple rod all the time because it's purple. Yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> I've mainly went with red because the rails on my boat are red. My uh, rod holders are red. Um, my uh, rods are red and white. Uh, you got a nice boat, Miss Paula. Yes, you do, Thank girlfriend. You. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to work till I'm 120 to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mine's all decked out, pink, black, and purple. I mean, pink, black, and blue, and, and purple. Yeah. You guys know now we got purple, purple okay. in there. So. I like your boat. I like the name too. I love your That's boat. Right. Oh, feeling catty. Thank you, thank you. I'm always feeling a little catty. There you <laughs> go. Turn up trouble somewhere. <laughs> Anyone else? I don't know. If y'all come down here, I don't want to get in no trouble now. <laughs> I can't promise that, girlfriend. <laughs> That's right. We don't get in trouble. I don't have any pool anymore. He retired. <laughs> I don't I don't ever get caught. Like the neon green and the black color. And I like the Do what? Kentucky rig best. The what? The Kentucky, Kentucky rig. Kentucky rig. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah. Janet, what's your favorite? It's off in the distance. I think Janet's froze. Oh. I honestly can't tell you I have one. It's whatever the chief over there thinks I need to use that day. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's the Carolina rig. <laughs> Janet, I can't wait for your tournament next month. Our May. Sorry, I forgot we're not in April yet. We're, we're not in April, April yet. We're not in April yet. I'm excited. We're down to four spots left. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's get that's that. amazing. Right. I yeah, wish I could make it. You're gonna miss it. Yeah. But I'm fishing the North Alabama I too. fish trail. I, I would <laughs> love to. Uh if I don't have a tournament that weekend, even if I don't fish it, I would I would love to just drive down and see see you see your husband uh i got to see him up here um last year roger was it last year we fished the king cat okay. tournament yeah i said i got end. to see him give him a big hug because he had hit his five-year mark on the oh. cat. <laughs> i love miss becca yep, he's doing real good <laughs> Do you see Dee's comment? <laughs> Thanks, Dee. <laughs> All right. So um, 
Oh, I had to get one. Oh. Yeah, they're both I, nice. I see all these um, titles like the King of the Tennessee, um, King Cat, things like that. And then I see some women out there with the Catfish Queen or Queen Catfishing title. Um, when will there be a tournament to show who the Queen of Catfishing is? Uh, you know, I don't think you can base that on one tournament. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah. Battle of the Queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be like, a, it should be like maybe a three a or four series. Series. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be awesome. do a series for that. Yeah, I think it, it, it takes years of experience, years of fishing. Um, I didn't name myself the Queen of Cat. <laughs> Everybody else named me. So I just went with it. So I thought, well, until I'm pushing up daisies, I guess I'll be the Queen of Catfish and somebody else can take it over. I think it's a great name. I think it's awesome. It's perfect. You inspired, inspired perfect. a lot of women. Yes. I, yes. <clears throat> what did Roger say? Hmm? You inspired a lot of women. What did Roger yeah. say? He said you inspired a lot of women. Well, thank you, Roger. <laughs> We're getting questions. We're getting questions message to us. <laughs> Some of them were deciding not to go with. <laughs> All these emails and it just went silent. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's one of the things I saw. <laughs> yeah, I think John Renner's over here poking at Janet a little bit. He's wanting to know, ask, ask Janet who the new queen is. And I don't, I don't, see, see, inside I don't see any comments from him. <laughs> Janet, you're so far away. It's like, hi. <laughs> but Janet, do you oh, have a favorite rig so far? I can't see anything. <laughs> no. No, Carolina rigged Red Hook. Okay, I couldn't hear earlier what you were saying. I know you said something about your whatever he puts on there, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about you? Did. What about you, Jackie? Did you get all your stuff from CatCon put together, your rods and stuff, and your cloud line and all that stuff oh, fixed up? Awesome. I have all the pretty things fixed mm -hmm. up. Did um, you get your unicorn rod thing done? No. So, Not well, that. I do have my mermaid. I do. I don't know. I posted oh, a little TikTok to the mermaid guy. rod. That's right. I, mermaid. <laughs> I do. I have a purple rod, and I have a pink reel, and then I have... Um, a very, very, very beautiful blue FOA line that makes it a perfect mermaid. Aww. There you go. Have you taught anything <laughs> on it yet? I don't. <laughs> but, um, we uh, we went out and we've only, I've only got to go out once since CatCon. Okay. Because of like my kids' schedule and our schedule and prior engagement. So we went out last weekend, but we're going. April 6th, I'll be going out and then the 7th. So I'm hoping. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the, the Mid Ohio Catfish Trail. We're doing the um, tournament in Gallipolis on the 6th. And I think they still are taking entries if anybody's interested. I tell you, it's getting to the point where catfishing is expensive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it, it is. is pricey. It can be. I went with a budget for CatCon, and I blew through my budget. <laughs> that was That's easy to do, especially yeah. when you're trying to color coordinate. Yes. Right. Yeah. There is so much great things and great deals. I was mm -hmm. like, well, I can't pass this up because I'm gonna have to get it. Right. <laughs> we got matching skipjack rods from Jeremy Chase chasing outdoors. And we love it. I don't know. So I know there was a lot of you at uh, CatCon that got that rod. It is amazing. Yes, we've used ours, and they are awesome. They are. Do y'all all like to skip jackfish? Mm -hmm. Love it. I like fishing for everything. So yeah, <laughs> I love pulling them in the boat. While we're catfishing, I am bait fishing also. 
Yeah. <laughs> I pass the time by catching everything else. Yeah, I, I love uh, skipjack fishing. I'm almost <laughs> scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, know, you got a sticky rig out there. It's got four, five, six hooks on it. You hang four, five skipjacks. I mean, it is just a blast. The, the white bass are pretty fun to yeah, catch. And to see all yeah, the white bass are fun to catch as well. Yeah. Do you guys, um, so tell me your favorite fish to catch that's not a catfish. Bluegill. 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 <laughs> the gateway. The crappie. I'm going to say crappie. Crappie. Gateway drug. Bluegill. Especially when, when you find the right spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could be in a foot or two foot of water and just go to town with some bluegill. Right. Yeah. I love catching boca and we catch a lot of those, especially during the summertime. Yes. We catch a lot of them. They are fun. Yeah. Can't use them for bait. I mean you probably could, but um we don't. Oh you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> They fight like crazy. It's almost like freshwater tarpon, and their skulls are as hard as a rock. It's kind of crazy, but they're slimy like carp. It's kind of weird. Really? Hmm. Huh. Do you guys have a favorite river to fish? Ohio. Tennessee. Tennessee. Ohio. Probably Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> Must I have to say Ohio because it's home, but God, yeah. can't catch crap up here. Of course, my PB's up here, but I love the Tennessee. I don't know. Tennessee's fun. I like the duck, the I duck love river the here. Tennessee. The Duck River here. I love fishing it because it. I got an eighty-two off of the Duck River, and that's where my personal uh, best flathead come from. Was the Duck River? That's awesome. I like the Clinch River on the Tennessee. Clinch River. Hey, my lucky. Like you don't like the higher Tennessee river. river. Boy, I like the Tennessee River. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to test the Mississippi this year. Oh. Yeah. Nice. That'll be fun. It'll probably cool. test me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, one of our goals, Miss Paula. Let us know when you're going. <laughs> to the All right. We'll jump on. We definitely will wear our PDLs for sure. Absolutely. Sorry, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do love the James, but I, the, the Tennessee is fun because there's so many different places you can go on the Tennessee. So. Mm -hmm. And we go there a lot with um, Tilly and Chris and have a great time. So, Yeah, the Tennessee is a, you know, it's not just my area. It, you know, it goes through Alabama. It, you know, it's, it's everywhere. You know, up in East Tennessee. Uh, now, the Tennessee runs off in seven different states. So, you know... Those fish yeah. will be. <laughs> Jody's got a good area. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. Yeah. Because where I'm at, we don't have a Pickwick as the closest dam and then Kentucky dam. So. <coughs> I still have to drive two, two and a half hours to get to a good dam. Oh, really? I, I don't, I, yeah, I, I drive it every weekend. That's, we're located about two, two and a half hours from um, Wheeler or Pickwick, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm in a pretty good location. And then, yeah. uh, of course, the river ain't but five minutes behind my house. Uh, that's where I got my 88. Um, I mean, I'm right on the river, but. Our fi the fish around here have just kind of vanished. Um, but we think that they're coming back because we had a really good bait hatch. So we're seeing a lot of bait. 
we're starting to see a lot more fish than we did the last two or three years. So hopefully, hopefully the big boys come back too. <coughs> Looks like two stands asking if there's any anglers out there that you guys would like to fish with. I, for one, would love to fish with all of you ladies. I think it would be such an amazing time to be able to get out there and like learn from you guys and fish with you guys. Well, thank you. Awesome. That would be fun. That would be fun. What about you guys? Anyone you can think of? I would mm -hmm. like to fish with uh, Joe Jellison. I, that. I think the, the Mitchells or Kevin Childress and his daughter, they catch some. They catch they some can, yeah, they do. I'd like to learn from them because, man, they are always on them, always. And not just little ones. I mean, they're as tall as we are. and We're, we're short, though. That's not really saying much. But still. <laughs> <laughs> they're big. <laughs> Yeah, but his daughter's like we are. <laughs> <laughs> this, this a little bit though, part. Part. She's probably talking and the land brothers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Freddie. Too <laughs> 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 funny. I like Fred is having an okay. issue in there. <laughs> is he okay? Yes. <laughs> I think so. He doesn't go to the doctor much, but. <laughs> ah. Well, tell him he can take my place if he wants to. He's <laughs> getting over COVID for the first time. Oh, wow. Uh, really? Yeah. So we yeah. didn't end up in the emergency room. Right. I haven't gotten COVID. I, I've just been lucky. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have it the whole five years, and then then he got it, and he thought that it was like just a head cold or sinus infection or something. In the end, he got where he just couldn't breathe, and so we went to the ER. Right. But he had like an hour and a half breathing treatment, and gave him a negative. Uh, uh, a butyrol inhaler and prednisone and some stuff to go home with. And he's doing better now. So that's good. That's okay. good. Glad he's doing better. Good. I think the hostess has left the building. Hey. Oh <laughs> <laughs> this is the girl show. He was just showing us how good he felt. Right. Yeah. Back. We can be the girl. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, they, rock, but they have some connection issues. When I got out of the hospital with this brain tumor, they had put me on up. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm hyper as it is. Oh, the steroids? And, well, I'm hyper automatically. But they had me on the steroid to keep the swelling off my yeah. brain. So I was bouncing off the walls. Man. And finally, I called the doctor. I said, "I'm not taking these steroids no more. I can't. I can't even stand myself." Yeah. Right. So I, I brought my dose down to one a day instead of two. <laughs> so now I don't have to take any. Thank gosh. That's a good thing. So the, did they get it all, Paula? Yeah, they got every bit of it. We uh, good. Good. we went to Nashville today. Uh, I am going to have to do five uh, radiation treatments, and it's not um, it's not uh, because I still have, you know, right cancer. Precaution. Precaution. It's what the human eye or the microscope can't see. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a, a, I don't know, backup, <laughs> you know. A guarantee, you know, not a guarantee, but because it could come back on anybody at any time. But uh, it, it's just a precaution, I guess. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's good. That's awesome. That's but awesome. I, I, I don't want to take up everybody's time by talking, but I do want to say this. If you uh, and Bink would probably agree with me on this, if something feels off, 
or something's not mm-hmm. quite right, go to the doctor. Yes, sir. Uh, I started having headaches and I never have headaches. And I went straight to my doctor and said, something's wrong. Something's off. Let's get a scan done. And uh, the insurance company denied me getting a scan. So right. the next morning I went back to my primary care and I said, I'm going to work. And when I get off work, I'm going to come back and go through the emergency room because they can't turn down a scan. Right. And when I got the scan done, they said, we've got, we need you in Nashville right now. So, you know, you got to figure the insurance people out, you know, you got to, right. you know, you work, are a work human system. Being. Not enough, <laughs> you know, so you need to be on top of it and, you know, push for you, basically. Right. So. You're right, everything's Paula, good now. Yes, If something's off, definitely go get checked. Yeah. Go I mean, I knew. Paula. Yeah, I knew that something just wasn't quite right. At first, I thought it was my eyes. And. I'm having to wear glasses now and uh, they come in, I come home from the hospital and they come in that week and they say, well, it's going to take you two to, th- two to three weeks to get used to them. I put them on and I thought, holy cow, <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, <coughs> I don't have the line, but it's bifocal and if I catch my, I mean, it's like, I'm almost drunk half the time trying to, <laughs> but they've helped tremendously. They've helped tremendously. If I can just get used to them or not lose them, I keep wanting to pull them off them on top of my head like reading yeah. glass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Miss Laura, do you have any questions or anything you want to add? <laughs> No. I'm still recovering from work, so I am oh. in a <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, well, I want to um, thank you. all of you guys for coming on the panel tonight. Um, thank you for making this a little bit easier for me because I have been about ready to puke. You did great. You did awesome. You did really good. Thank you. Um, you have a lot of ladies to back you up. Yes. There you go. <laughs> but yes, we wanted to um, end it with the spotlight. We have a very special spotlight made for the show by Kelly Bullock. Bullock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you turn on the spotlight. Oh, we're going to be gone after this. So. Hey, thank you guys all for, for jumping on here and, and helping her through this. You know that you know that in the right. middle of the sh- She might take your place. Right? <laughs> oh. Are they Okay. Okay. No, you're good. You're good now. No, you're good now. You're good now. No, you're good. This is. This is crazy. Is it still free? <laughs> I think it's funny. I think I think he's trying to tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's trying to tell me to shut up. Well, see, I got. I got a couple. Uh, ones in the background there but i don't remember which one's which so <clears throat> we're going to play it should, a uh it should be the one that says uh 10, Roger. 10 yeah that's what i figured yeah. thank you guys for being a part of this we're going to close it out with the uh with the tonight's spotlight again thanks to kelly for putting this together last minute for me and uh i think i'm frozen this thing sucks no you're good, you're good. <laughs> no you're good <laughs> Show, it's not showing. Gone somewhere and dyed my hair now. Wanna be alone. It's much it too barren. You showing on there, no.
You in my sight I keep all the words you say